Iceland is one of the last safe havens of the Atlantic salmon. They spawn in the freshwater rivers in the northeast, but in recent years their numbers have been rapidly declining across the globe. This is a very important species ecologically and economically throughout much of the Atlantic, but particularly in Iceland. If we don't do anything and don't do anything fast, it's never coming back. It's gone forever. With the plight of the salmon growing by the day, Sir Jim Ratcliffe decided to take action. In recent years, he's been funding ways to help boost salmon numbers and has now brought together research teams from Imperial College London and the Marine and Freshwater Institute in Iceland to further study the issue. The cause of these declines is not entirely known. There are various reasons that might be behind this that we will investigate as part of this project. And the idea is really to try and find one or more smoking guns that might be causing this, this decline. We are measuring and investigating some of the key factors of the salmon life cycle. Counting fish with uh, electronic fish counter, estimating the spawning stock size, then we do juvenile survey, catching out migrating smolts, tagging them. The purpose of that is to estimate the ocean mortality. How many of migrating smolts are returning as adult fish? This research will aid the huge investment already taking place in the region, managed and implemented by Strengur Angling Club, who look after a number of key rivers. The first steps we took to improve the ecosystem was to reduce the equipment that you can use for fishing. Soon after that, we started catch and release in the river. Then we started building ladders. Salmon ladders are a series of steps carved into the rock face of waterfalls that allow salmon to reach new spawning grounds further upriver. Our goal has been to do this with as little involvement into nature. In some rivers, we have waterfalls that are impossible for fish. One thing that has been done is to take eggs and just to dig them in the gravel above a waterfall. By planting eggs in the river, hopefully in the next five or ten years, we will have a healthier and stronger stock. Every avenue to improve the ecosystems of the rivers, including the soil and vegetation around them, is being explored. We're putting this different kind of species, larches, birch, tea-leaved willow and woolen willow down, and it will enrich the soil. When you get a healthier vegetation along the rivers, then you get a healthier environment for the uh, organism living in the rivers. These scientific teams and groups are performing vital work to solve a growing crisis, but it couldn't be done without the support of the local communities. That's great that Mr. Radcliffe is concerned about the Atlantic salmon and helping the rivers as he can. Our biggest owners in the Angling Club is now Sir James Radcliffe, and he has said that all the income that we get from the river systems will be put into the rivers again. There is definitely signs that our work on the river has had some positive impact. We would like to leave these rivers and the environment up here in the northeast and hopefully all over Iceland in a better shape than we received it.